Uh, hey friends, I am back uh, to complete the epic and the rare heroes of the new Covenant of Champions event, which includes the Monster Hunter family fellows. Uh, in my previous uh, video, which is of beta 50 version 3, uh, I've covered the legendary heroes, which have great variety. Uh, that's Adelinda, Cleaver, Ebba, Hammertask, Hawthorne, Kai, Malin, Waterpipe. I'm going to cover now epic heroes, that is Mahigan, Meadow, and rare heroes Dawn, Adelaide, and Fianna. Um, starting off with the family bonus, as discussed earlier, unfortunately, till now, as of now, which is subject to change because anything in beta can change drastically or, you know, complete overhaul. Currently, we don't have a family bonus of one hero, but monster family, monster hunter family has a bonus of two, three, and four, uh, sorry, two, three, four, five heroes, five, 10, 15, and 20% attack. Having said that, let's go to the epic fellows. And here are the epic heroes. That is Mahigan and Meadow. We start with Mahigan and see what is this. So Mahigan is uh, a male hero and uh, fire, average speed. Then I look at the stats, um, attack, defense, and health is pretty cool in line with the new bunch of heroes that have been coming. And uh, as we move forward, the passive, there are two passives, so I've already discussed in um, Legendary, I'm going to discuss this at least once to start off with. When this character casts their special skills, they give a hunter's mark on a random enemy. Target receives 1 to 50 damage over 3 turns, that's 50 per turn. And if the target already has this effect, then the duration will be refreshed and the damage will be increased with 150. So if suppose out of 150 of the previous one, say two have been used and it's on the third turn a fresh one is given. So the 50 of the third turn and 150 new will be added up and this can stack up to 1500 damage in total. So that's what the first special I mean, passive says. There is a second passive, which is damage reduction. This character has 10% chance to negate 100% of the direct damage uh, received from special skills, which means Technically, the second passive skill is a dodge. What is a dodge or an evade? So here it is called negate. Unless I, I'm open to correction, but I believe evade, negate, dodge, all these fellows are basically the same cousin terms. In short, the damage just won't apply, won't reach the hero. So the, the second passive skill makes the heroes dodge I have still got to test these heroes in beta, so I will start doing that. Uh, it's working day, so obviously I'm not gonna be doing much, but um, during the weekend, I'm gonna test this out and uh, add if there is any clarification required, otherwise this stays. Uh, the special skill is called Claws of the Hunter. So Mahigan uh, deals 280 damage to the target and minor damage to nearby enemies. So that's a good amount of damage. Summons a bone trap find for target and nearby enemies. And bone uh, and the find damages the enemy with 45% attack, which, and this damage increased by 8% each turn to a maximum of 85%. So it's, I think, the trademark of the uh, hunter family, the monster hunter family uh, um, specials related to the find. Then, of course, it's a standard one. Bone Trap Find absorbs healing and disappears after it has absorbed 30% of its owner's max health. So, well, I would say a good healer, uh, sorry, good hero. Uh, find obviously adds a dimension. There is a direct damage to three, and then there is a crazy find. And um, the Monster Hunter family uh, delivers very strong find damage. Um, let's move to the next hero, which is Meadow. That's a dark hero, female, 
four star i see 709 attack which is high um defense is a little low but for a four star it's i would say fairly good and uh, ranger class which means can cut through very fast speed which is i think which will have many people excited let's uh, go and see what this hero does so both the passives i've already explained they're the same and the special skill is called poison tipped arrow what does it do 275 damage to the target so it gives a whack to one target 275 damage is not so high but when i look at 709 attack uh, this would be 350 zone you know so i mean it basically improves but nothing significant but there is something else target receives 446 poison damage over three turns and start start starting low increasing with every turn so this is roughly about 148 no yeah 148 three turns so 148 49 is uh, what uh, the damage is it starts maybe low and high so maybe it might start at 100 and increase up to 246 i would like to believe so whatever um very fast speed so technically behaves like a conchu type of a whack that you go and whack and move but again situational uh, only the very fast speed is exciting but i would uh, like Mahigan more for what is happening over there. These are four stars. I would say still pretty good. Okay, let's close this and go to the rare heroes. I'm pretty excited to read because rare fellows are fun. So female ice babe uh, is Dawn. I like the name. Average speed, which is cool. The two uh, passives are the same. I'm glad that uh, this crazy passive is common for all the rarities. Special skill, hunting ballad. Summons a hunting owl minion for the caster and nearby allies. 10 HP and 20 attacks, so that's a little less. Each hit from the hunting owl minion reduces the mana of target by minus six and caster nearby fellows get 50 plus 54 defense against special skills, cleanses status ailments from caster nearby allies. So, uh, impact three hero. Uh, what is really cool over here is the um, uh, hunting owl minion reduces the mana of the target by minus six. So that's Lady of the Lake uh, being available, impact available at average speed in three star zone. So, well, I don't know. I mean, one gets her, limit break 20 emblems and can be used in different scenarios i mean that's the creativity that the player base brings to the table i know how many people uh you know showed on the forum shared on the forum using nodri for elemental defense down because there was no frida and none of the newbies who came with elemental defense down like if i remember um like if we, athena i think does that and uh, well, or maybe one more is there, I don't remember, but those are five stars, difficult to get. So but there is creativity that I can see over here because anything that impacts mana and you know steals mana or reduces mana is fantastic. So I would say Dawn is cool. Let's see what Adelaide does. Adelaide is a rare, holy, Male hero, fast speed, same passes, special skills is nomadic him. The moment him and all these kinds of things comes, healer straight away, recovery or heal or wellness. <laughs> Recovers 26 health, all allies get plus 195% attack and minus 35% accuracy. That only applies when the enemy has more than the attacker has more HP than the attacker. The effect lasts for three turns. Now, this is something which is weird. Recovers 26% health for all allies is simple. All allies get plus 195 attack. And allies get minus 35% accuracy that applies when enemy has more HP than the attacker. 
So the HP of the attacker is higher than this minus 35 accuracy will not apply. That's unique. That's interesting. The effect lasts for three turns. So I think all allies will get uh, plus 195 attack and minus 35 accuracy will only apply when the enemy. This needs to be tested. So I will test it in beta on this fellow because the wordings are a little bit um, dicey, not clear. And maybe I'll uh, issue for another one uh, based on my understanding and maybe you know have a third beta talk uh you know of some of the experiences that i have had which would you know help understand these heroes and uniqueness of these heroes so there it is interesting okay so there are two spirits there's a healing and there is mickiness <laughs> included in adelaide Let's see what Fianna does. Fianna is a male, so uh, nature, ranger, average speed, same passes, and let's see what the special bone arrow does. 225 damage to target a nearby enemy, so impact 3, find comes into play over here, and it's the same find, which increases in its damage. So it's 45% attack increasing up to 85% over here for each turn going up to a maximum of 85% and the find also absorbs health to the tune of 30% so that's standard so three stars now get fines I don't remember if the three there is another three star that has fines but this one comes in so fines are going to run the show and minions are also standing nearby so there you go you have these five heroes two four stars and three three stars what do i say got to test them have a better idea speaking i cannot claim claim expertise of understanding everything from just the hero card and as you have heard me describe that i myself have a few questions so i'm going to get them clear cleared you know as i test these heroes and get better understanding and share maybe a um, learning video of you know some unique things which I had question marks about which should give a better idea so there it is thanks for uh, listening to me I hope this gives some kind of an idea I would urge and request um, whoever is watching this to just go to the empires and puzzles forum and look at this particular note that has been prepared by a dear fellow player play for fun who is the beat beta beat chief reporter and he really puts in a big shout out to him and a big thank you to him he really puts in a lot of effort selflessly and really brilliantly and uh, really gets all this information uh, out uh, he like me he's a beta tester <laughs> what i don't do much uh, and, but uh, you know in terms of putting content like this out i create content using the content put out by him so we do collaborate but when i look at the content like this which is where a lot of things initiate from that's brilliant and also i want to say that you know because play for fun has put the content over here i'm able to create a video and share it on my channel with the community because I cannot use what SG puts in the beta lounge. Um, I don't know whether I can or cannot, but I would like to believe that I can, uh, but I am not trying right now till I get better clarity. So it's a big help that uh, Play for Fun is helping out, you know, for this content. So again, a uh, special thank you and, and see you in the next video. Cheers.